The return of some legends to Warhammer 40k today, there are brand new miniatures coming for Gaunt's Ghosts. Hello and welcome back to Warspets Tactics, where today we're talking about the brand new miniatures that Games Workshop have revealed in the Black Library preview. I've just finished watching the review myself, honestly I wasn't sure how much I was expecting out of the Black Library previews. I certainly wasn't expecting arguably to have more impressive miniatures than on the first day of the 40k reveals. I'm genuinely incredibly happy to see these guys return, they're an absolutely classic set of miniatures, and I'm sure there's going to be a bunch of people watching right now who really want to add them to their guard collections. So for those who haven't come across these guys before, Gaunt's Ghosts are based on a book series by Dan Abnett, one of the best known writers of 40k fiction, and certainly among the most well known and widely read books out of the entirety of the 40k Black Library. The books follow Commissar Ibram Gaunt, leading the Tanith first and only to battle, and they're really quite an interesting regiment within the Guard Fluff, they used to have some rules and previous codexes, and they used to even have some of their own miniatures as well. Their background is that they're the only regiment that was ever drawn from the shattered world of Tanith, and they're specialist in stealth, scouting, marksmanship, and guerrilla warfare. They're an infantry-based regiment with few armoured assets at all, and perhaps maybe their signature type units might be sniper units in camo cloaks. Some classic metal miniatures did used to exist, I believe that they were released around 12 years ago now, no longer for sale by Games Workshop, and now lovingly updated with these great new plastic sculpts. Here we've got a full shot of the squad, all ranked up, they're looking just incredibly menacing and really practical. I like the cohesive look that their camo cloaks draw between them, and I think the bases help to draw them together as well with those interesting tree roots. Again, it's just really nice to see what Games Workshop could do with the Imperial Guard if they gave them a bit more love. It's really nice to see these guys reimagined. In terms of details of the miniatures, Games Workshop have confirmed that they are in plastic, not resin, and they'll be added as a permanent feature of the range. They won't just be a limited edition one-time run. That means that you should in theory always be able to get some, even if maybe the initial release wave does sell out quite quickly. Character-wise, we've got Ibram Gaunt himself, who joined the Tanith and helped to shape the raw skills into what they are today. Colonel Com Corbeck, leader of the 2nd platoon, and a good ally of Gaunt. Major Elim Rawn, commander of the regiment's 3rd platoon, expert knife fighter, and major rival of Gaunt. Lane Larkin, supposedly the finest shot in the Tanith first and only. Trooper Bragg, who has a much less accurate aim with his heavy stubber though I guess what you lose in quality, you can gain in quantity. And finally, Scout Sergeant Owen McCall, an expert woodsman, usually seconded to the other companies. Finally, here's just a more cinematic shot of them, all spread out over some terrain, looking very heroic all in all. They also did confirm that they will be getting 40k rules, though as they're coming out alongside a Black Library release, I'm not sure exactly how well they'll be supported immediately with a few of the ones that we've seen before, such as Severina Rain, or those Custodes characters, they got a bit more of a simplistic datasheet within the box to start with, though if they're anything like Eisenhorn, they will hopefully be included into the next Guard Codex as an ongoing unit that you can choose within the Astra Militarum. I really hope that that's the case, rather than being a bit more of an out there on-ball unit, in the way that Sly Marbo is at the moment. We know that they come from the Tanith Regiment, which will be interesting to see exactly how we can field them in the new Codex, I'm hoping that they might just allow them to be a general choice that can be seconded to other regiments, but if not, it does beg the question as to whether or not we might get a Tanith regimental trait added into all the others in the Codex. If I were to add in the rules for one other regiment to the Imperial Guard Codex, I'd argue that the Tanith first and only might be the very next ones that I'd pick, due to the Gorn's Ghost series, they're just very well known. I'm going to guess that they might function as one unit altogether, we recently got some Death Watch Kill Team rules for Kill Team Cassius, and they might function something similar to that. It's really kind of hard to say at the moment though, I think in previous editions they could all split up and go their own separate ways if they needed to, making them an interesting spread out guerrilla force that could be annoying and harass the enemy. In any case, I'll certainly look forward to reviewing their rules once they're out. Otherwise, for the Black Library Books preview, there's a host of new content around the Gaunt's Ghost, as you might expect. There's these bunch of Sabbat Worlds books, one that's set fairly on in the Gaunt's Ghost timeline called the Vincular Insurgency, an anthology of the Sabbat worlds where the Sabbat war took place, and a book that's following one of the regiment's main rivals, the slightly haughty and aloof Volponian Bluebloods. Otherwise, they revealed a book called Erdesh, the Serpent and the Saint, also set within the Sabbat war, a new Horus Heresy book on the Siege of Terror, 
Jagatai Khan facing off against Mortarian in Warhawk, a couple of Warhammer crime books including Sanction and Sin, this one that you see here, and finally a couple of Cadian Imperial Guard books, Steel Tread and Traitor Rock, Steel Tread is apparently going to be following the crew of a Lehman Rust Demolisher, and a Necron book by Nate Crowley called The Twice Dead King. I'll link the Warhammer Community article in the video description if you want to see a bit more about either them or Gaunt's Ghosts. So anyway, I'm really pleased to see the return of these guys, it's a genuinely impressive Warhammer 40k reveal, they're not doing too bad for new models so far, plenty of new stuff for the sisters yesterday, Gaunt's Ghost today, and no doubt some Orcs on Friday. I'll certainly look forward to talking about them when they show them off. If you've enjoyed the video and you'd like to see more, feel free to subscribe to Allspets Tactics, where I do try and keep the 40k content coming pretty much every day, and I will try and cover as many of Games Workshop's releases as possible when they come out. If you've been enjoying a lot of the videos and you'd like to help support the channel, feel free to give a look to the channel's Patreon page, which you can find down in the video description. Making all the content does take a fair amount of time and effort, so if you are enjoying regularly, any support is enormously appreciated. Channel patrons do get a fair few advantages, such as seeing certain new videos early, regular votes to see what sort of things come next for the channel, and automatic entry to the monthly prize draws with a chance to win some big model kits. If any of that sounds good, or you'd just like to help support, then the link is down in the video description below. In any case, a massive thank you for listening, and I'll hope to see you guys next time.